All right, good morning. Good tiny morning. Let me get my charger. Good to see y'all this morning. Good morning. We back, ain't we? Time flies when you're having fun and we back. <laughs> Not sure my camera's wiped off. Four. Get y'all out of here. I should probably should set this stuff up before I go live, but I never do. So I apologize. I just can't wait to get on there to see y'all. figure out what I'm going to do with my camera view. <sighs> so, get it where y'all can see it.
you know, I, I, I like, even though I can't see the comments, I like to be able to see the screen when I'm recording. So we, so we beefed up these steps right here because we had to make, we had to make these steps longer than the other side. So, uh, we just beefed them up. <laughs> Daddy said, you know, Daddy said, son, that, it don't need all that, but, you know, I don't know. It's built like a tank. <laughs> but, uh, fitting to get this, uh, fitting to get this going. Y'all enjoy the show. Thank y'all for tuning in, giving me a thumbs up, and, uh, being a part of this progress. I love y'all so much, and, uh, thank you for everything you do. We gonna get her done. So, uh, want two and a half inches of hangover. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. I want two and a half inches hangover on each side of my step. That's where, that's where the finger comes in. <laughs> I look at that. So I put a screw in there just to hold it in place so I can get my marks made. Let me find my square. So this right here. First thing I wanna do is when I find my pencil is mark out where my post is gonna go. Side. You don't want to cut it close. You don't want it to be like tight. So give it a little bit on each side of the post. Because you don't want to be fighting. You don't want to be fighting that. show y'all this next step this is this is 
It's like so easy a caveman can do it. I'm gonna show y'all. So there's my, you just lay your square in here and you know where you need to cut out to go around your post. And then you put this in here. This is called the dummy way. Hey, I ain't no professional home builder, but. You measure that right there. That is three and three eighths. And three and three eighths is to take a saw blade out. So what that means is three and three eighths. You're just gonna square it off. That's coming out. Gotta go do the same thing on the other side. Y'all can see that, can't you? Y'all can see that. I'm gonna go do the same thing again. Take my board with me. It's always a good habit to put an X on what you're cutting out because you'd be surprised when you pull that board up, you'll forget. You will forget. I like to show y'all. I can't always like show y'all every little thing, but I can show y'all this part. Sorry, I know I was in the way. Can you 
feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, long. I remember, I remember, don't worry. It was the first time, the last time that I saw you. See this right here? This is a piece of that guard. I didn't even know come this far. See where the saw is? You know what I'm saying? Let me show you what happened. Hey, I got, I got like super lucky. Oh, look at this. More of it. Let me show you what happened. And you feel it coming in the air. All along. All along. This was yesterday when I was off camera. So my guard for my big saw, you know, the, the plastic guard, it was attached to this. And here's what's left of it. Like it, it just, uh, yeah, it disintegrated when I was cutting. I mean, that joker, like, you want to talk about, like, mess up a good pair of britches? Like, see this? And this. And this, this went everywhere. I got so lucky. I'm telling you, Laura was with me. I had an angel. I had an angel on my shoulder when I was cutting that because uh, that could have been horribly bad. I had glasses on, but even it still hit me in the face. I was up there. I was up there cutting where that saw is. And it, it went off like, it went off. And when it went off, I jumped off the porch. <laughs> I turned around in one leap and jumped. Oh, that's a squirrel. Like, I got lucky. Thank goodness I was wearing safety glasses. But still, it hit me like right here somewhere. Instead of the sharp end hitting me, it hit me like slapped me. So, so like I was like feeling, I was like, I kept waiting for like it to be blistered open. Like a cornbread chalupa, but it didn't. <laughs> That's what happened right here. My eye. Boy, when that got split. It was that wide, like it laid open like a butterfly shrimp. I was like, "Woo!" I was like that's rough right there. Like, I don't think I blistered this side. I don't know. I think I this side. Anyway, two times. Anyway, that ain't important. Let me get back to what I was doing. Can y'all see it? Not really. Maybe. Sorta.
Sweating like a champ. Now you take your, you take your dummy blocks. Look, they ain't nothing wrong with this way. My daddy showed me the dummy way years ago. He said, son, don't never be too proud. check my hangover which it should be good yes that's beautiful beautiful I'm gonna take my other pieces and I'm gonna put them in there just because that's what makes it I mean that's exactly where it goes
same thing. I'm gonna put this up there. I'm gonna get it flush. Put a screw in there to hold it in place. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna repeat that same process. Show you all one more time. Leave a little gap, because you don't want it so tight that you're having a bead on it. Now remember, this is going to be cut out. Let me get my dummy box. So that's the step. What we want to know is what this length is. That is two. Two and a quarter. So I'm gonna come two and a quarter. Where's my pencil? In my ear. I'm gonna come two and a quarter from this side. So this will be cut out. I gotta go do the same thing over there. I'm gonna go repeat that process. And it's the same measurement, but you still double check it. Don't forget to put your X where you want to cut out. So I can take my slam out.
Oh, I'm gonna have to come out of this suit. All right, oh, all right. A little trick here. I'll show y'all a little trick. I'm gonna take this little block here and I'm gonna add me a little something, something in there. Put with everything I need. How you lose everything? Everything. Everything. Let me fall in your shoes on my feet. Give you last time bread had to eat. First step is to realize. That's why you mark it. Don't you think it's time? That's good. Yes. Okay. That's just a little support. <sighs> I gotta do that on the other side too. Now I'm gonna put my board in. You ain't gotta do that, but that's what I do. Don't you think it's time?
This is the piece that I went ahead and ripped. Right in the middle. Yep. Girl, I swear not to save you in that same broken dream. I can't I gotta set my rip. I gotta set my rip saw up. This is my rip saw right over here.
First step is to realize. Man, I've got to come out of this suit. I ain't gonna make it. Uh. Oh, God. Whew. Man. Woo! That's like. I like pina coladas in the pouring rain. No belt. Yeah. Give me a second. Do what we gotta do. This is the saw you definitely want goggles with. I gotta rip my board down.
installing my, what is that? Oh, this is in the way. I was like, what in the world is that? A little, and there's another salt blade out of it. I just done all that. Wait.
That's a big 10-4.
That is just how it's done. Just keep her. Gotta screw it off. Thought something about he got me. Want to make sure my overhang stay in stay. It looks the same. See, y'all can see, can't you? All right.
Yep. Put it up tight. I'll go ahead and stick a screw in here. And then we'll go do this. I always, I've always had a habit of tacking each end before I screw anything off. I don't know. That just prevents you from having a mistake. It's always a good rule of thumb to go to the center and get it to Go to the center and push it in too. Nicely as word. on there. I like to add these backs to the steps. It dresses them up and it hides that hole.
Looking good, that looks good to me. Do the other side. Remember to come to that center, cause hey, it may be off, it may not be off, but it, it's always a good habit to come get the ends and then get your belly. to mess around here and have some steps. In the old seed. Lord, look at, look at y'all something else, ain't you? 
Joyson sent me a super chat. You better look out. Building some steps today. See how beautiful that cut is around that post. That's what, well, first of all, that's what having mystery man uh, is a daddy. It's one benefit. <laughs> the other benefit is uh, the dummy way. Look, I ain't making light of the dummy way. We say that. We're not being funny. We serious. Like, just put the board up there and do it the dummy way. They is it cuts down on a lot of uh, errors. And I mean, look, Daddy said, you know, they always people want to improve the rat trap. Daddy, we we firm believers in leave the rat trap alone. Hey, Mama. I look, look here, girl, I got you some steps. Now you can come sit with me in the swing. You ain't got to worry about me picking you up, putting you down. Picking you up, putting you on the porch. Even though I pick you up as many times as you want me to. Too many boards. Twelve and a quarter, twelve and a quarter inch step. So that means I need a that means I need a rib. Better just the right here.
this salt, this thing right here is definitely why you need glasses. This salt right here. It does not play around. See, you have a you have a factory roll on the board, and then you had that cut. You want to make sure you have that factory roll out so it looks nice. So it it matches up to your boards real good. Just to be with See, I've come and pushed all these middles, and ain't really none of them needed, but this middle needs it. talking about
as you walk on by. Oh, that. Oh, you kidding me? That didn't mind a bit. <laughs> that didn't mind a bit. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. That's just as pretty as y'all right here. <laughs> Let me get it out here where y'all can see. Just a little I can't see it all that wonderful. Just a little That's some steps right there, baby. That's some steps right there, son. I mean, woo!
Umbrella don't fail. Go figure. I didn't even know it fell. It's a wonder y'all still even recording. All right, I got to show y'all a little old, a little old bitty trick here. Yeah. This is another trick. Well, it's, it ain't a trick. It's just how I do it. Let me say it like that. It's how I do it. To be with you. Oh my, that umbrella. It's waited its whole life to fall. It just keeps on doing it. It keeps having a it keeps having the time of its life like the dirty dancing movie. Um hey, the time of my life and I never felt this way before. And I swear it's the truth, and I owe it all to you and I. Hey, time of my life, I hope every open door, and I swear it's you. Owe it all to you. Yeah, baby, I've been waiting for so long, and I finally found someone to stand by me. Remember I put that block down here? And we're riding on the wall. A, B, C. Just remember, you're the one thing. I can If you don't drill that right there, it will split and it could bust your little ears off. So it's best to drill it. Just something Couldn't be because I'm going to go ahead and drill the other side just because I ain't got to change my bit back out again. And I never felt this way before And I swear It's a truth And I hold it on to you and I That's what I did. I went ahead and drilled them all. Put this back in my bit set. Now this bit set right here, it was pretty costly. I think I paid $75 for it. But it's got... It's got like boo koodles of si uh, sizes you know and uh but i don't know it's expensive but if you take care of it and it's a good thing it comes in this case because it makes it easier to take care of so i'm, like, I'm rough on stuff not really really rough on stuff. It just helps to have it in a hard case. Man, I can't like ever put a bid in in your whole entire life. Now, 
Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Low ride. Oh, that's that turned out beautiful. Oh, that that turned out beautiful too. I want to do that. If I had a dollar every time that pencil fell right there, boy, we'd be fishing right now. We wouldn't be building no steps. Two more screws. Y'all the one thing. Oh my goodness. That is pretty. Oh man, I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta jump up them steps no more. You better look out. Come on, baby. Oh, ow. Let's see, you gotta get you level. There you go, baby. Look. in order oh somebody just did you hear that they missed they missed ah that's like that's like chewing gum in your hair it's like chewing gum in your hair kind of thing i had some chewing gum in my hair one time. <laughs> i fell asleep with it missed you can tell when they hit I can <sighs> had some shoot had some chewing gum in my hair one time daddy said he was watching me when I was pulling it out He said I was a tough baby. He said I was gritting my teeth. <laughs> hey, it, it had to go. You can hear it. You will hear an impact if you know what you're listening for, but it's like takes a lot of experience. Put some. You put some in the top of Christina's head one time. I don't believe I did that on purpose. I don't believe I did that on purpose. But I remember I fell asleep with some chewing gum in my mouth and it was it was mad up in my hair, right? <laughs> uh, peanut butter will take gum out your hair. Might better let grandma know. 
Hi, sweetie, Stephen Halloween was my birthday. Irma, are you kidding me? Oh, what's that say? Stephen, are you going to make ramp for the elders? Hey, there's always, always possibility of that. <laughs> Man, these things are beautiful. I guess I could show y'all. I ain't like really showed y'all, show y'all. Built steps, built, built steps today. My hands healing up. I've been putting Neosporin on it for a week, like every night. Well, let me just say every day because, because I, Lord, I done spent $25. No, $3 a shell. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, somebody got some money or had some money. <laughs> Lord, listen to them, having them a good time. Good to see y'all. I want to show y'all the steps now. I'm going to show them to you. Let me see what my battery's on. Oh, my battery's like ain't. It's 44%. That ain't like. <sighs> so here's my steps. It's funny how that wood's. That's all that's treated. All this is treated. And it's two different colors. <laughs> Ain't that winning? That's some big old, that's some big old steps. I mean, like I build them. And they still, like, I mean, I just build them. And I can't hardly believe it. Them babies is huge. But I was so tired yesterday because you see all this dirt? Yeah. That's like, I wouldn't even call that dirt. Daddy got plumb laughing at me. I was slinging that pickaxe. I had to, I had to dig that out a lot. Daddy said. I mean, when you hit it with the pickaxe and it don't even break the dirt, that's rough. Man, I, that's why I didn't go. We was going to go live yesterday. But I told Daddy, I said, man, this dirt is so rough. I said, we might as well just wait. But I finally got it dug out where I could have everything level. I got to come back in and fill that in with dirt. I need to do that, like, before very many people walk on it because that's, uh... That just needs to be leveled. But, man, I'm super happy with my steps. Still got to do my handrails. I'm going to do spindles up this, handrails. That's going to be beautiful. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry. Here's my back. Got them done. It's just, uh, it's, everything's beautiful. 
I'm so happy with how it turned out. And another big, this is another big step with the house, literally. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to sound like it sounded, but oh, I had to dig this out too yesterday. See how much I had to dig out to get that? So I had a, me a blast yesterday with the pickaxe. And there's the steps, those makeshift steps we've been using. So glad that's behind us now. So glad that's behind us now. Got beautiful steps. Can you believe these boards right here? I got to take them back. I got to take these back, but... 427 dollars that don't even sound right does it that's ridiculous i gotta take that stuff back i didn't have time to return it well truth be told i didn't feel like returning it i mean they sh they 10 foot boards and i needed 12 foot so <sighs> i don't know you know You ever just, you ever just feel like you, I don't feel like loading them up and returning them. I just went on out there and bought what I needed. Man, that's aggravating. I mean, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to take them back, but that was so aggravating. But look at it now. Look at it now. My next thing is fascia boards. I need to get these fascia boards put on. And I can deck the house. I got to get this wood out of the ceiling right here. Because that was just up there to stand on. I got to get that out of there because I'm going to need that to deck the house with. Uh, so that's what you can look forward to coming up in the uh let me get back to the charger that's what you can look forward to coming up in the next couple videos and wild child i want to thank you for these gatorades because <laughs> they do make a difference and i am drinking them get y'all plugged back up or it's gonna be party over I like pina coladas in the pouring rain. Been drinking the fire out of them, girl. I'm talking about they get you by. <sighs> yes, yeah, sir. Facial boards and decking. That's like, that's gonna be like, I'm gonna sleep real good them nights. Today was a, today was an easy day. I enjoyed building the steps and all. I enjoyed like y'all being a part of it and, and I showed y'all like up close stuff. It's, it's like, uh, I just wanted to show y'all. I bet you have over a thousand in your steps. Yeah, way more than that.
brother love out here getting her done. <laughs> he's, just, he's just riding around like he's at the mall with his girlfriend. <laughs> he's riding around like he's in, got a carload of YouTubers with him. It just took a picture, and it just told me about it. Hey, I like my new watch. I ain't got time to fool with it a whole lot. But, uh, if you think typing on an iPhone is fun with fingers like mine, it's got a keypad on this. Now, how am I going to type anything? Ain't happening. Ain't happening. I hit 27 letters at one time. What is Cujo? Hey, Padre. Do I need to look at it or you got it? Man, look it over and tell me what, <laughs> tell me what you think. Hey, I didn't look at it soon. It's beautiful. Did you? Yeah. I was watching you for about the last 30 minutes. Oh. Doing a good job, sir. Well, thank you. I had a good teacher. I had a good teacher. They saying hey, Hodge. Hello, everybody. You know what, Steve? Lay it on me. You know how you're talking about putting some dirt in there? Yeah. Man, I put some quick grit in there, then put dirt on top of that. It don't, it don't take much, you know. Just pour some down there. <coughs> They'll always stay just like that if you do that. I was just thinking about that. One bag could probably do it. Just support here and there. You ain't even got to be doing all the way. That, I ain't even really got good dirt here. I mean, it's good dirt, but what I dug up right here with that pick. I don't see how nothing grew, but. That's horrible. It, this was a field. I don't see how nothing grew. <laughs> I know. I know that. Like, I didn't realize it was, well, a lot of this clay that's right here because it was dug up. Oh, but, is it? Yeah, because it had, it, it had about 18 inches of topsoil, like black topsoil. It's a beautiful, beautiful day today. That trail camera just to go and off. What, the one where you put the batteries in there yesterday? All of them. Right, because the wind blowing? No, it's deer. Oh. Well, this thing don't miss nothing. Buddy, you want to know what's happening? You put you one of these cameras up. You'll know right then. And you can tell the lady said they don't put the spindles that you got to have rails. Yeah. Look, look at Jazzy Joyce with her bad self. She done sent lunch money. How the elephant ears. Hey, uh, they, they do. <laughs> I seen Joyce say she's feeling better today. That's good. Sometimes, like a new day, I help Joyce. Yep. Yep. It's, hey, we don't feel like a bag full of roses every day. She was missing her mama mm. on, last night on my video. I can't imagine that. I can't. I mean... Yeah, I could see what you're saying now. Let's see here. <sighs> you got me thinking. You got me thinking about eating. Look out now. 
All right, Father Greg, what we're going to do? Done sent lunch money. Stephen put a walk in. Stephen put a walkway in. What's a walkway? A walkway, like a concrete <laughs> path. Hey, let's get the roof on. I don't believe I, <laughs> I don't believe I'd be having me a path. I mean, it sounds beautiful, but <coughs> I'm on a little bitty. It's all right to be a little bitty. Daddy done come over here ready to work. You hear him? <laughs> Sidewalk. Like that sawdust got me yesterday. I didn't think you was in it a whole lot. Yeah, I don't, I don't have to be in it that much. I'd definitely be getting the roof on. Yeah, I'm ready. Brian, don't you want to come down here and help me? <laughs> I don't know if we get anything done or not for laughing at one another. <laughs> Good morning, Sharon. Good to see you, girl. It was 44 this morning. It's 55 now. 55's nice. Dan said you could tote a couch up there sideways. You can. <laughs> you, can. you can tote that bad boy up here like a champ. Hey, all the hard work yesterday paid off today, didn't it? Man, yeah. We was really going to do a live. But I, I caught so much trouble in this dirt with that pickaxe. Man. Could have went live, but it wouldn't have been very interesting. Wouldn't have been too fun, neither. <laughs> well, I... Boy, I ate me about nine tacos and I went to bed. I don't, I don't be messing around. When, you know, we work, I would say we work to dark, but that's not true. We work till you couldn't even see anymore. And then, like, got the tools up in the pitch black dark. <laughs> so, like, we worked until you couldn't even see you, the, the ground under your feet. I heard that Whips County boy said if he lived closer, he'd help me with the siding. Hey, tell him if he come, we'd give him a hundred dollars a day <laughs> and pay for his motel room. <laughs> hundred dollars a day and pay for your lodging how about that and free meals not a free meal now just gotta let him know it ain't mama's cooking with the free meals i mean it like it live will be a sack full of corn dog <laughs> <laughs> It's nice to just sit here a minute and, and see y'all, because, you know, we had the coffee show this morning, but that thing's over so quick, I don't I don't get to see y'all a whole lot. Y'all see me a bunch, but I don't get to see y'all a whole lot. We got some steps on this bad mamma jamma now. Hey, boy, I'm, I'm glad you went ahead and done that. And it's treated. 
and everything that we cut. We old like so would the last. You need to chill sometimes. Well, it's a good day for it. 44 this morning. That's when it's a good day for working. That's when it's a good day for working. Yeah. It's funny because yesterday it was so hot. Man, it was so hot. And today it's just complete opposite. And we got to get going, Padre. What you going to do today? Hey, I'm, I mean, if it was the end of the day, I say, let's sit out here and talk to 11 o'clock tonight. But, man, we got to get going. Like with a little umbrella drink. We got to get going, man. Thank you for your Halloween life, Danny and Tammy. What's that, Steve? Thank you for your Halloween life. Oh, man. Yep. Oh, yeah. Danny well, and Tammy. And helping Kathy. Always good to get a thank you, ain't it? Yes, sir. It sure is. Every once in a while. <laughs> That's right. I said, yes, you know, sir. Today's the first day you ain't killed yourself out here, you know? I know. I mean, it's just, oh, like, I mean, like, if I quit now, I still feel pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> they might going to the Saturday Night Live dancing contest. Not Saturday Night Live. What? Why don't you talk to him a minute? Let me get this wood out of this ceiling, because that's like got to be got. Okay. I'll do that. Watching these ads, watching these fun ads that are playing. Oh, God. Ain't no telling what it is. Beautiful. Where are you going to sit at? Uh, I sit right here and then I'll adjust. Huh? Beautiful is true. I'll adjust to what I need to, you know. Saw your face in a crowded yeah. room. Just do me, me, you. There's a plenty we can do for. La da 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 da. La da da. Everybody type in there. We have pressure treated lumber on our brand new house with our brand new windows and doors and roof and shingles. <laughs> Did you see the chat, Stephen? <laughs> post right in the way, ain't it? Stephen was wanting to cut that thing off at post yesterday. I said, he said, I don't want nobody to see that. I said, son, they know it's got to be cut. <laughs> but yeah, you have to. Oh, uh, you know, what I mean, here in Georgia, I mean, it might not be like that everywhere, but you know, they made Grandma put some. Uh, hey, I'm doing fine, thank you, Monique. You know, they made. You remember insurance company made Grandma put up some banisters. And made her, you know, do two or three things before. Uh. They would insure the house. I kinda ain't got all the cobwebs out yet, y'all, from waking up.
I see on the side of this, uh, this treated, uh, these boards on the porch that says yellow wood. And, and you know, I seen a yellow wood, a treated yellow wood commercial yesterday. And that's what that is right there, yellow wood. Danny, I did too. Yeah, when I'm press, there you go, there you go. When I'm uh, around that sawdust, it it messes with my sinuses, y'all. And that wood that buried fitting to take down, it has been about the worst minute there. You take a two by four and hit the bottom. Go down through there, hitting the bottom of it. You'll knock it up. That plywood up there. Like, I'm talking about, man, need to get that plywood out there. Need to get that plywood out there. Need to get that plywood out there. What I want even more than that <coughs> is I want my shirt to ride up about right now <laughs> while I'm working. Because that's what all that's good for. Man, you put that damn good dick. Oh man, that is jarred the life out of me. Oh, that is jarred the life out of me. You know what I tell y'all? What Stephen ought to do? You see that thing there, that table, that that wire cable. I ought to dig a hole. You know, I mean, a foot deep. You know, whatever, whatever it needs to be, and take that and put oil all over it, and bury it a foot deep where the where the table will be about right, and he can sit over there in the edge of the woods, you know. Like, you know, you sit here and you sit there. I mean, you could cut all that off, but it'd be aggravating cutting, you know, cutting one of the bottoms out. It'd be aggravating, you know. They would go from one extreme to another here. You know, like, look at the wind, y'all. Look, I'll just let you look at that a minute. I don't know if we're going to make it with the roof this week. <laughs> Every week we say, we're going to be putting the roof on. I was, uh, when we did quit last night, I was tired now. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
I'd had to sit and watch him. And that's an idea there now. I don't know how I got it through there. He took it out and put it on the roof. Baby, like the wind. Mm, I, I didn't like jump, didn't jump. <laughs> like Pete and the goat me here, boy. <laughs> About to tear everything up getting hey, out I, of here. Hey, and matter of fact, I'm tear everything up getting out of here now. Waiting on me to move? Uh, I was thinking. Because I really need this wood up here. Yeah. Yeah, you can throw it down, but you're going to have to hand it back up. I'm going to back off out here, Stephen. I think it might be better out here if I zoom in. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we're gonna be see. We're gonna be closing that in up there pretty quick, and you uh, know. So. So that's kind of a good idea, you know. Can't leave two hundred dollars worth of plywood in there. It don't matter if you do this or what you do, it all got to be done. It 
He's getting it though. He's almost about halfway. Hey, I don't blame him. You know, sitting down on them steps and uh, celebrating in the end zone. I mean, I don't, man. Like, he's about killed himself up there working every day, except today. Yeah, that sure does, thank you. Uh, yeah, he's done a good job there, y'all. But like, you know, like, we gotta go, y'all, you know, we gotta go. Can't sit on the steps all day, got work to do. <laughs> and sure hadn't had much rain, have we? Oh, you did watch Reverend's video? It did start getting kind of cool up here yesterday afternoon. I went home and got me a long sleeve shirt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't blame me for wanting to sit there for just a minute. Uh, thank you, Monique. Thank you, Monique. I'm kind of a, a behind-the-scenes guy there, Monique. <coughs> Remember that movie, The Stunt Man? <laughs> or it uh, might have been a TV show or something. But you never see The Stunt Man, you know. Or you see him, but you don't know you're seeing him, you know. Yeah, well, yeah, that was a, hey there, Gladys. I'm glad you're feeling better today, Jazzy Joyce. I think that's probably a pretty good name for you, Jazzy Joyce. I'm glad you're feeling better. Sometimes, like, you can just, man, be down one day, all of us, I'm sure it happens to all of us. And like the next day, Bill, you know, Danny, oh, I know where you, or all the time. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Monique. Then you're way behind in chat. Emma? I don't think there's nothing I can do about it. I don't think there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, like, this is Stephen's live, you know? Okay, the boy said I'm behind in chat. Yeah, like, sometimes... Uh, like when you're having a bad day, it's like switching your computer off and restarting it. Sometimes, man, like just a just a brand new day will, will help everything. <laughs> Danny the stunt man, you are not being. <laughs> oh, man, I'm fitting to have to get my sleeves. Yeah, this, hey, this is the live here. It, you know, there's, uh, there's not too much you can do about the chat.
Oh, you done got it all out? You done done all that? Yeah. And all that worrying I done about them boards up there and you got it out that quick. <laughs> I guess he's trying to decide what we're going to do next. Hey, you know, we got the facial boards and stuff like that. And that's, that's why I'm here, y'all. He's going to need a little help. He didn't need no help on the porch. I mean, on the steps. Yeah, I'm gonna get my sleeves, y'all. I'll be right back. I had something I was going to tell y'all for a long time. I keep forgetting to tell. About this roofer. And the roofer didn't tell me himself. The, bro the brother-in-law told me. The roofer lived with the brother-in-law. And the roofer, which worked for me. They brother-in-law let the roofer boy the car. And he stayed gone like a couple of days or something and come back without the car. Go get my okay, sir. What you gonna do with that, Steve? Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, I, I want to screw them, but I can take that gun and pack them and like to make them Yeah, yeah, do that, son. That's a good idea. Oh. Uh, I couldn't find out. The roofer sold his brother-in-law's car. And then the brother-in-law was getting onto the roof. And the roof got mad because the brother-in-law was getting onto him about selling the car. He just, the roofer just didn't feel like he was feeling. I swear that's true, yeah. Yeah, he sold his car, man. The roofer sold his brother-in-law's car. <coughs> and I'm telling you, the kick, the kicker is. The roofer got mad because the brother-in-law was getting on his butt. He just didn't feel like he was, the roofer didn't feel like he was being treated right. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> and 
If he had sell his brother-in-law's car, imagine what he'd do to you. Hey, they like around here. <laughs> Man, Rupert could like come back and steal your lawnmower. I, you know, I, I didn't have nobody on my crew, which that guy did work on my crew, you know, for a while. But like, you know, we didn't know everything at first, you know. Let me walk over here and try to figure out what he's fitting to do, y'all. Where he's fitting to start, cause. And I, hey, I tell you what, we just let him do whatever he wants to do. How about that? We just let him do whatever he wants to do. You know, the, since he's got that out there, and you know, that in there, that in there, the house there, this has been kind of, kind of almost finished, but that end of the house down there, he's just skipping all around, you know? Danny, I've learned to go with, let me see, I didn't get that. Oh. Uh, Danny, I have, wait a minute. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, uh, I, I, I can't find that. Oh, Danny, I've learned to just go with whatever and don't, and don't ask questions. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I could. The facial boards don't have to be on there. Uh, I was gonna put a facial board down there on that end where the scaffold is, because he needs that. I was gonna go ahead and do that facial board there because the scaffold's already there. Because he needs them scaffolds on the other end of the house. But, uh... But you don't wanna take them down to the other end and then come and put them right back up just to put the facial board on there. We could go ahead and do that, you know. But whatever he wants to do, I'm just gonna do it. Is he supposed to get Bentley today, y'all? Oh, Bentley. Take that dirt down there where they drip, uh, drug the, dug the well and put it in that mud hole down there at the gate. Steven yesterday, y'all. Uh, 
he could. And I told him I liked him being in that house. So I made that clear right there at the first. I do like him being in that house. But I told him, he like, go ahead and get his set tank done. He can go ahead and pull this camp around here, you know, and... But I just was telling him, you know, like, that he's got the water here now. Just needs that septic tank, and he could pull this camper up here. See, at my house, he's hooked into my septic tank, see? And that's kind of what I was talking about him being pulled in a bunch of directions. Hey, Stephen, that what is on that table out there on your on the little work table? How long as staples is it? You know, hey, let me tell you something, son. It really don't matter what you put on it. If, if you can shoot it with that nail gun, son, because it's going to have vinyl, uh, aluminum over that. Lip. So it don't matter then. No, come here, son. So we can explain all this all at one time. So, y'all, Stevens. Like the fascia boards. We didn't want we didn't want y'all to think he don't know no, no better than using a nail in the fascia board. But the but it don't matter what kind of nail he uses, the fascia board is gonna have a, aluminum on it. But we didn't want y'all to think, look at here how stupid he is. And that's why we was, he was gonna use the finish gun. I didn't even think that at all. You didn't? I was going to use it because it don't weigh 25 pounds. Oh. Huh. I ain't never care what nobody thought. Well, it don't, hey, and it don't matter what kind of nails you use as long as it's nailed. Hey, Steven, does my compressor still work on the back porch? You ain't used it? How do you keep pumping them tires up? I don't. I just drive them flat. <coughs> so, he said, well, he didn't think that at all, but, like, you know, if you, you know, if, if you wasn't going to put aluminum on the fascia board, see, I got a metal brake, y'all. But if you wasn't going to put aluminum on there, you have to use a finishing nail. And it, you kind of don't want to look like a fool when you're doing this. Somebody can say, man, look at him putting them big old nails in that. But on this right here, it don't matter because it's going to have aluminum on it. Never, won't never have to be painted. Just like uh, that post right there. Oh, uh, he said, "Man, I don't want to see that post." <laughs> I said, "They know that that post has got to be cut." But ma'am, got it where you can walk in and out the house now, both sides. I've walked around this house more times than you would think, <laughs> and got them little block steps he made.
Your grandma had a good video, didn't she? With that cutting that cane and stuff. And I tell y'all about the steps. Hey, hey, Doug. And hey, Doug. Look at them big old clots of dirt over there. Man, they dug and dug and dug. See how low the, see how low the bottom step is? Man, hey, Doug. Try to, then he tried to put the board in, he pulled the board back out, start digging again. Hey, Steven, bring that step ladder around here so I can help you hold that. <coughs> Can boy? If you go get on a Greyhound bus, I pay half of the, of the fee. We put you in the motel. You can stay with us. You can be at the concerts. You can go to the Scott Brantley concert with us. See all the wild women.
As soon, you know, like where I got the solar idea, y'all, the sun is just as hot as it was yesterday. Spit my coffee, man. I be a son of a gun. I can't do nothing about spilling my coffee. You got your gun, too?
Hey, Steven, no, don't do that. Don't put the block in yet because we got to put the plywood in there. And then we'll put the block to get it straight. So I'll show y'all. See where he's got that nail gun hanging? In that little triangle hole right there, they got a big OSB put in there. I got a bunch of air tools. And I ain't, I ain't know. Uh, I got two of them compressors. Yeah. Air compressors. Well, I just got three, but I got two just portable. But, uh, every time it cuts on, you'll be able to hear it. See, that boy's got a bad spot in it, Steve. Make sure you put that up. I wanted that coffee, y'all. Stephen. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hey, Stephen, that's the wrong side to him.
Um, let me get this ready to do. It is tab it's good to film with, y'all. It ain't good for audio, but it's good to film with. Grandma said hers was the same way.
I seen one of them fascia boards there laying on the ground. It is split. How much is them boards right there a piece, Steve? That was a lot. I can't remember. That's them and the... I got four two by sixes. No, I got two two by sixes like this, and them right here. It's four hundred and twenty. Nope. <clears throat> right at five hundred. You see that split one laying there? Hey, a, it ain't a split. It's a router. Oh. It's where it was routed. Where the planer didn't get it good. I handed it to you. That means then what did I do? Oh.
And see, now he fortified the corners, but that don't even matter neither. Uh, because you're gonna put aluminum on it. And now he just straight cut them pieces. You know what I'm talking about? A straight cut, it ain't a 45. It, it don't matter, y'all. It, it's gonna have that aluminum on it. If it was gonna be just finished wood, you would want a 45 everything. That means turn the saw sideways, if you don't know. It is what you're saying, uh huh. I see. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, hey, the, yeah, the eight, the eight inch face boards is, they are good, like they high, boy. They just, people don't ought to use them because they are so high. And there's people we ought to get on here. Say, man, you see him putting them nails in that facial board like <laughs> It's gonna have aluminum over it, y'all. Gonna all be covered up. Never had to be painted. You can't even see the crack in it. Never had to be painted. And uh and they got it in all kind of colors, you know. You can buy, buy any, and go to Home Depot and get a, a roll of aluminum. Buy any color you want. See how he's got that block of wood under there where he can do it by himself? Y'all, I can't hustle that ladder all day. And it only takes him like just a little bit longer to put that block of wood there. I can't hustle that ladder, y'all. I used to good. Them days is over. I can do it, but I can't keep doing it, see? Straight, neat. Porch, straight, neat. Step, straight, neat. Everything straight and neat. You can't nobody come out here and start picking you about this and that, you know. And 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 people will do it too. I used to be in a poke game. 
I say I blow the pot. That means I get the high. That means I'm saying I got the high and the low. They said, wait a minute, I ain't even announced yet. But like I knew I had them. So if I blow the pot, I'm going for the high and the low. The high hand and the low hand at the same time. And then they say, wait a minute, I ain't announced which way I'm going to go yet. I said, here's my card. You go whichever way you want to go. I beat them every time. I never lost blowing the pot. I would get the... They was two winners. I would get all the money. What up, Padre? Remember where we quit that other day? You was picking the up and start putting them box in. Hey, Steve. You, uh... You wanna sit down here and talk to him, sir? I go make me some coffee? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Hey, it won't take you but a minute to get that, son. is the way this project is you can't finish one thing we're having to go do something else that's what's happening right now <laughs> it's good to see y'all today I hope y'all had a good Halloween. Well, thank you, MJ. Yeah, that's wide facial. I knew I wanted big, bold facial boards. And I just like that look. <laughs> I just want to appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I got to get little man today, so I got to keep up with my time. Got to get on them scaffolds. Got to get the saw up there with me and some boards up there. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I have to get little man today. You're doing a great job. I sure appreciate it. <laughs> well, thank y'all. Thank y'all. 
COVID test negative. I heard that, Thelma Lou. So, if, you, if you're just tuning in, let me show you what was done today. Uh, I built them steps this morning. Finished them off. Uh, I'm installing fascia boards, or that's what I was doing. Um, see, all I need to be able to deck this porch was to get them fascia boards on. So that's done. So technically, I could go ahead and deck that porch with plywood. But I still might do it because um, Daddy wants me to jump to the back of the house and get that over there where that scaffolding is. See these blocks that I got put in right here? I got blocks every 16 inches on that facial. I need to do that to the back side. That's when I was cramping the other day and I had to come down. I was cramping up there high and it was not cool. <laughs> so, I got to, um, I really could deck this side of the house. That'll be a huge milestone down. That's like permanent shade on the porches. On the porch. <laughs> Not porches. Please be careful. Don't push yourself too hard. No, I'm fine. No, it, it's cool today. And I got plenty of drink. And I got y'all. Who knew you could put 20-foot fascia boards up by yourself? <laughs> I'm telling you. You never know what you can do till you do it. Have to do it. Uh, it's too early to be yawning, ain't it? Too early for that mess. But that's right, that's right. Oh, thank you, Reverend Green. And, and uh, Stone Creek, Silver Creek, I read it. I, I do reflect on what's happening. It does feel good to get something accomplished. Tell you what, it does feel good to be getting something accomplished. Please tell little man I said how I do that. Thank y'all, thank y'all. I'll see my... <sighs> That's my front yard. To be with you. Oh gosh. <sighs> I'm yawning, but I don't understand why. Look at them pretty shade trees. They they are, ain't they? I 
I'm just thinking about what's got to be done. Really wanna. Gotta be in my love. Gotta get in my friend. I think I want to deck the port. Yeah, Stone Creek. Have a good day. That's what it was. I couldn't. I was trying to think. I've been thinking of the name that whole time. <laughs> Chat round here today. <sighs> the house is wonderful. Y'all so sweet. I gotta cut some uh, little stems up there. I get them cut off, then I can deck the porch. That'll be shaded. It'll be dried in. I can deck this side of the house. It's easier to get on the house when it's decked. Like, that would have been nice. It was rough putting that tarp up there with no roof. But if you can walk it, like, oh, it's, like, amazing. I wouldn't advise y'all getting up there. But, uh, old country girl myself, I heard that. Look out now and build my tree house. I, I mi I'm missing part of the conversation. I'm about ready for another 50-cent corn dog. You got that right. I bought eight of them yesterday. Uh, how are you tired your whole life? <laughs> Anybody else tired their whole life? I would love to build a new house. I never thought I would be building a new house. Man, I was always the guy that said I would never... I, I, like it takes so much money. It takes so much money. I never would have thought. We got six corn dogs yesterday. I heard that. Boy, you put some mustard on that bad boy. Woo! That be making you want to write a bad chick. Hey, my body's good. Like, I can jog to East Dublin right now. Like, my body ain't quitting. I'm just tired. No, I ain't even tired. I'm, I'm yawning. But like, far as am I ready to go get her done? I'm ready to get her done. I really am ready to get her done. I put hot sauce on mine. <laughs> I can't handle that hot sauce. I don't I don't I ain't a big fan of getting burned up. What it is. Make me wanna go ten rounds. I heard that. <laughs> I did bring her Sprite. She likes Sprite.
Yeah, treated woods can rot. Treated wood. Um, yeah, you welcome. Hey, if you don't, uh, it, if you cut a treated board, you need to rub oil on it or something. You need to reseal it. Because the inside of it, I mean, it's called pressure treated, and it's supposed to go through and through out, but it don't. You'll have some rotted wood down the road. <sighs> Did you see you almost flat tire? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what sells them. I pump them up. The next day they flat again. And like, I mean, I ain't got time to pump it up, put the soapy rag on it, find the hole, plug it. I just ain't got time in my life right now. So I'm just driving it flat. Probably ain't the smartest thing to do, but... Oh, well. You gotta pick your battles. And I decided to just say, never mind. <laughs> I decided to not worry about it. Ants to flat can sealer. Look out now. That stuff works on TV. She was. She let that chicken bite her corn dog. I, I wouldn't have let no chicken bite my corn dog. I'm going to tell you now. I need to take a day and fix them because I mean it ain't nothing to fixing it but when you don't have enough time you need to rearrange your life well you got your coffee I drank it at the house dog I dog. need me a little cup sit down in the chair if you mean I think I'm about cutting them tips off and going ahead and decking that porch you can't so the other end of the porch is not fixed like this is well, I know. And it's, I, more, it's even more than that. Well, I know I couldn't that? go to all the way to the end. Hey, yeah, but there's no need to do that. You remember I told you about how hard that that cut in there was gonna be? We're gonna be going in from the top. Yeah. If you if you put the if if you put the plywood on there, it's gonna be trouble. What cut you talking about? That triangle right there on the side's got to be closed in. And it's a hard cut to make. <clears throat> and we need the roof open to be able to do it. It is a hard cut to measure. Yeah. People just don't, uh, I mean, like, people don't realize that's a hard measurement to yeah. make. Hey, listen, here's what you need to do, son. Tell Put me. them blocks in, like I told you. Mm. And then we'll go down there and finish the, the other end up. All right. Mm. I don't know, son. You might be getting bored out, you know? Hey, just count every how many of them boards you need and get them up there.
Well, that's got to be done, Steve. See, the other end, y'all, it ain't finished up like this end right here is. The other end there ain't got no outside. I mean, I'm telling you, and there ain't no need to put plywood on part of the porch. You get the stuff done, and then you plywood the whole thing. I mean, it ain't ready. No, no, team has got two cars. The other one is the Ford Tours. Um. Oh. There was a old lady she was going to see. And I, or I should say an elder. Or something like that. And it's something a little nicer. But it's still the same. That woman said, you don't know nobody looking for a good car. We had, we, we had done already been looking for about a month. I had been looking for about a month. And uh, that woman had a Ford Taurus with, I think like 80 or 90,000 miles. Tell me, I'll take $1,800 for it. <laughs> I said, man, go get that thing right now. You know, this probably do get old, straining your nuts out. And he ain't in front of the camera. I mean, just working like a dog. Like every, every minute he's here, you know? Yeah, the, the car the woman had, uh, we had to go buy tires because she didn't drive it. You ever, you ever heard that? Like, little old lady owned it. Never drove it over 40 miles an hour. She only drove it to Sunday school. <laughs> that was true in this case. I said, man, go get that thing. Yeah, this ain't all that much fun, y'all. You know, like this day after day after day after day. Every spare minute you got, you got to understand it. But it ain't time to be yawning yet. We'll get it. I'll keep him on track. He don't like much being able to, to put the plywood on, but it just ain't ready yet. It just ain't ready. See, I'm sitting down here, like, doing the easy stuff, you know? He's about to kill himself, you know? About like every day but the day, you know? I 
I'm just trying to explain, y'all. But that ceiling box of wood got to be put in over there. And under this, under this piece of plywood right here, the blocks ain't been put in there yet, neither. Because they already had that laid out, which they had to. They had to lay that out to do what they got now. That's what him and Wilder up doing. But they blocks got to be put under that plywood, too, there. And then we'll go to the other end of the house. And if he wants to, like, get the other end of the house like this right here, then he can deck all he wants to deck. But it ain't ready. Yeah, this is the tie over here. I was going, Danny, you can get him some help. Hey, I've tried to, y'all. Hey, uh, there's a guy I said, I'll come over there for $25 an hour. I said, okay. And then, uh, hey, and he was a carpenter. He was somebody like me. And, but he didn't show up. Yep. I do no more than a cotton, believe it or not. But there's some of them on the level I'm on. But it ain't a whole bunch. I'm telling you, I've done this. You know, I've been around. I'll just say it like that. I've been around. But, uh, so I told Tim, I said, Danny, you are keeping him from doing double work. Yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah, he, he don't realize, y'all, everything I know. But I told Tammy that, I said, we'll take this car and sell it. She said, uh-uh, you ain't selling my car. Same like paying insurance on it. And then my truck, my little red truck, there ain't nothing wrong with it except them tires went flat. I can't get it out of the backyard for the chicken pens. I went out there and cranked it up and, and you know, two or three batteries did it on a doornail. And I went and put the, got a little trickle charger on it. Yeah, it ain't what he's doing ain't very much fun day after day after day after day. I understand it. Hey, look what he's doing. Get that roof on there, y'all. He can take off a week. He can go build bird houses. He can go to the lake. We can go. We can all go to the river. Ain't no time to be yawning yet, y'all. I know I'm a little tough on him. But yeah, I started driving. I keep on seeing y'all talking about this car. Hey, this car right here, the heater will run you out there. The air condition will run you out. Uh, I've kept this car up. You know, like I had new shocks and whatever struts in the front and everything that's ever needed doing, I done. Or me and John done, you know. Uh, like put a new radiator in it, put a battery in it, and, let's see. I, I had never had to do too much. 
William told me a long, long time ago, he said, buy a Toyota. William told me that, yeah. Yeah, that ain't, that what he's doing ain't very much fun, y'all. Yeah. Matter of fact, I really need to move, I think. Let's see where I can get. But that's what he was feeding to do the other day when Grandma come. And told him, like, like listen to your body, you know? In that nail gun. <laughs> I wouldn't buy one. Well, see the Toyota, I could it was oh uh, and and right like really a unless you got a brand new car, a woman kinda needs two cars, you know. I mean, you know, I mean, so anybody's got to get work, get to work. And if, if, and you know how it is. You can walk out there any day, and your car will but not crank. Any day. Then you can go in there and slam the door and go in there and get the car keys to the hood, you know. Yeah, this chuckle right here is good to film with, boy. They say that they have done got so good with the with the quality of phones and stuff that you can actually make a picture show movie with a phone. You know, all this digital stuff, you know? Shoot, I wouldn't want to get up there neither, y'all. See how that side network right there is? Real exciting, ain't it? Thing back to sun again. See, you see, you see under that piece of plywood right there? See, there ain't no pieces under that. That's got to be filled in, too. And that's what I was talking about. Under this plywood on this side, it ain't got no pieces under there. And it never get around to it, does they? Hey, Steven. 
You can dummy mark them, son. You ain't got to measure nothing. I got to explain that. I got to explain that dummy marking to y'all. It's when you hold the board where it's going to go and just mark it. You don't measure it. That's what that means. You ain't got to measure it. You just hold it up there where it's going to go and mark it. That's what dummy marking is. And see that board he's putting in right there? That is what's going to hold that board up the rest of its life. That outside board and face and all that. That is what's going to hold that up the rest of its life. Right up here the other day, said, man, how much did that, that nail, that nail away? Do my market now. See that? See what he's doing? That's what I ain't see him hold the board up there in market. He ain't got to measure nothing. People are people, roofers, they'll then try to impress you and they'll make more mistakes by trying to look like they know what they're doing. When the dummy marking don't it don't fail you. I got to move this camera. I'll, I'll show you when he goes to do another. I invented the word dummy marking. Do it the dummy way. It's not actually slang. It's just simple, you know. It's just simple. Doing something simple. That, that you won't make a mistake. All right, look at him putting his next one up here now. Watch him. Watch him dummy mark it. and take that pencil and wipe under the bottom. See that?
It's not actually because you're a dummy. <laughs> but it works. And you want a, a, you know, everybody's not in a real, real experienced man, you know. And like, if it ain't broken, watch it fit like a dream. That's the dummy way. That if you ever wanted to know, that's it. If I was up there, I would be marking just exactly like what he's doing. There's a carpenter down there at Grandma's. And, uh, like, I think I got him down there, you know, to, I built something, and, and then and then I was going to let him finish, to, like, putting the siding on there. Like, he's the best carpenter you've ever seen in your life. And I was, like, standing there watching him. He, he cut, uh, like, a $20 sheet of something wrong. Uh, he ain't got to fit in the dummy, dummy market, y'all. Watch him. Watch his pencil. He cut it wrong. Then he grabbed another. $20 sheet, $22 sheet. Cut it wrong. I said, hey, boy. I had to cut it myself. I had to stop him and cut it myself. And now, he's the best carpenter you've ever seen. They all are, you know. They all are. If, if you don't believe they the best carpenter you've ever seen, just ask them. Like Grandma, like, come up, what? You know, this boy got to go. You, you think like he's going to pay for his mistakes? Uh-uh. And you see he's moving along pretty good, too, there, dummy marking. Telling you, they'll, you, they'll all you—they'll all tell you, I'm an expert. There ain't a bunch of them. the ones that are experts. They are already working. Straight, but I know it is. I can I know now. And that thing that 
I built a little room on for Grandma. It's a kind of a little odd-shaped room where she could just go out there and put stuff on. I added it to the back of her carport where she could put stuff in there. But it's around there. She's got a little... That's where she plants her stuff and, and stuff there. I mean, you've probably seen it. I had built that for her, and I was going... I, I think I was working in, you know? And, uh... Gonna let this boy look like the best carpenter you ever seen in your life. I was gonna let him finish it up. I, I, I built the frame and stuff. But you can look when she's around there at the garden. So I tell you, I was up in the restaurant. You know, Stephen was a good roofer when he was 12 years old, you know, as far as nailing, you know, he wasn't, couldn't do the valleys and all that. But, uh, you know, just talking about like people like telling you how good they are and they can do this and they can do that. I said, I said, so I would say, how much you, think he worth an hour, like, just talking to him, you know. And they'll tell you a big amount of money. Per hour, they can't, can't hardly help yourself. I said, well, I'll tell you what. There's my son down there. If you can outrun my son, I will pay you that amount of money. You know how the roofers get lined up, going up the roof, you know? I said, if you can outrun my son, I'll give you even more than that. They couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. Some of them I said, look here. You're so bad, I don't even want you to work. I said, I would spend so much money on you. I would have to go borrow money from the bank to pay you. Not only would I not make no money on this house, I would have to go borrow money just to pay what you work for for per hour. And I ain't joking neither. It's like that. That can be people so slow that you don't want them there. See, he doing me marked it again. There you go. day when y'all was watching what he was doing was giving wide up a measurement wide up throw the board up there and I had told him when grandma come here and stopped him working the other day I said take the boards and saw up there with you son well I you know I know that Every board is supposed to be the same measurement. But it's not. It's not. One of them might be a quarter longer watching Pitney Doom and Mark.
Is there anything to drink here, Steve? Sir? Is there anything to drink here? Yeah. Where's it at? Inside. I'll be right back. My phone just went off. Let me go check it. Young man, when I was showing last night on my video to Scott Brantley, sir. Copyrighted my video. There you go.
go take it off. I had to take, take one of them songs off. You know, all the live people seen it, but like after the live, you won't see that part. You might hear me talking about it, but it's, it's gone. That's gone. I took it out. Hey, Steve, you want us to put the fascia board on it?
Yeah. But it ain't gonna do much good. I gotta I gotta have the ladder down here. I think I can put it up again. Do you? Be careful not to trip, son. Yeah, man. Be real careful. Fighting with that mess. I need to get a board and push it up, see? No. I can do it, sir.
around the world is to be. Need a new thing with torpedo there. Nothing to do with what I bought. I got the degree of that cut. That's for sure. Hey, so won't you, uh, at least give me something. Won't you put it up, like, over, over, hang it, and go ahead and nail it, and then cut it by the cut paper. Like, go ahead and put the board in place. Let's see Get two or three inches hang on it. Then go ahead and nail it in the spot it's in. Then you'll put the tip of the leg on it. What, what you doing up on that two years? Yeah, I'm getting it. Oh, see the board hanging down? Yeah, I see it. Damn, see it? I can't do it. I'm all the way pushed up to the seat. But you see this is not what I see. When you bend it and put uh, the little level on it, you cut it while the cut Oh, no. 
Boon, ain't it? Look at your watch, Steve.
for the closer to the edge now.
Ik moet mijn scherper neer, ja. You know, like whenever it goes down to the other end of the house. Drying it in. There's the airplane, Steve. I just didn't start back singing. <laughs> I know you're glad to have that done. All that right there, y'all. That ain't been done to the other end of the house. The porch neither. It ain't been done down yonder. Yeah, I seen that. It ain't the same as when you was 20 years old with it. Now I have direction. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it won't huff and puff and blow that loose. I mean, a hurricane might, but not to ever that Joe blow wind. But that tarp's thick, boy. When you roll it up until you you putting that nail through about fifteen pieces of it, it can't it just can't handle it. When you go to take that when you go to take that scalpel down, Steve, you take the top off, you need to roll it over here and finish that fascia board there. On both sides. Because that's that that's even not so easy doing off the ladder there. Yeah. If the boards, the facial boards, he put the area off a little bit too short. And it's kind of hard to get to off the ladder.
that soon just keeps on working around. Well, that's one thing about, uh, if you're gonna put the aluminum over the fascia board, you don't have to do perfect work. Which the fascia boards look good, but if you're gonna cover them up, it don't have to be perfect. I used to, uh, I used to do that all the time. Put uh, aluminum over people's face boards all the time. You know, fix, they'd have some bad face boards, I'd fix them. And, and then, uh, I'd say, you know, $600, I put uh, aluminum all the way around your face board. 
they'd say, all right. And, and it is, it's easy money. Might have told them like $800, but it's, it's easy money. And it's a good thing for the homeowner. Never had to paint again. Like I'd break down and buy me another umbrella, don't you? Well, it's still working good. It's still working good. Come on, I'm just hanging on to that. <laughs> just hanging on to that $20, ain't I? Come on. Is it whooping me? My entire body is just whooping me. I'm looking on the back. I'm trying to get out. Oh, God, dog. Well, I dragged that over my toenail. It was not fun any. Well, Hodge, I gotta go get bent. Hey, <sighs> son, we'll do whatever you wanna do. You better look at that now. Got the fascia boards up on that. I gotta tie that right there together with that scaffolding in. That won't take but a minute. Looking good, ain't it? Me and Padre right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he don't go by that. That's what he calls everybody else. Oh, man. All right, I gotta go pick up little man. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony Z. Looking beautiful. Thank you. Love the staircase. Why well, sure appreciate it. I sure appreciate it. Coming along. Hey, it's, uh, we make videos. I make videos working out here, and I get a little accomplished every day. It's just a process. It's a journey we own right now, and we journey in the fire out of it. <laughs> Well, I mean, we got, I got a lot done, but I mean, it's fitting to be, it's fitting to be some dead time, like having to go get little man. I mean, if you want me to go get him, I will. If you want to quit, we'll quit. Well, I mean, I ain't, I don't believe I'm going to quit, but you need to. I mean, I could get him. 
It's just, I just thought you'd ready to get off. It's just been a pretty good one. You got that hard part right there, dude. I'll go get him if you want to. I'll do anything you want to do. You get that in down there looking like that, and then if you want to put the plywood on the back, we'll do it. I don't miss a chance to do that part. <laughs> oh, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got six fascia boards. See what I'm talking about, Stephen, where that, that triangle right there, they got to be a piece of OSB put right there. Yeah. Or you can put the vinyl up there. Man, that ain't nothing. <laughs> the cut's hard to make. I'm telling you it is. I would uh, measure. <laughs> oh, hey, thank y'all for watching today. Been on 300 minutes right now. Uh, thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you for the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful conversation. Is that what that means there? Three, 300 minutes? 300 minutes. Get her done. That's been a good one. Yep. I got to go, though. Thank you all for watching. I'm thank Daddy for coming over. Uh, narrating for me. And uh, y'all are beautiful. And thank y'all. Hey, there'll be more content coming. I have another wide open show tomorrow. Uh, hey, we may even go back and go live later doing this. I don't know, but right now I know I need to go to stay home for 12 more hours. <laughs> That's something. That's something Mr. Man can do. I can't handle that. <laughs> All right. Love y'all. See y'all later. Thank you for watching and Y'all, y'all mean a lot to me. <laughs> All right, bye bye.